What's up everyone? I'm Darcy from Darcy's Offshore and today I'm going to show you a method on how to clean big fish or, or how to fillet big fish. And today's example is a giant 35 pound king mackerel aka kingfish we caught yesterday. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and the first thousand people to click the link in the video description below will receive a free trial of Skillshare premium membership and then after that it's about $10 per month. But more on that later, let's dive right into cleaning this fish. I'm going to be using a larger blade today. You guys know me, I fillet a lot of fish. So today I usually use 7 inch, but with big large fish I recommend using at least a 9 inch blade. Okay, so for this kingfish, we're just going to dive right into this. Right behind the peck fins here, just make your cut. I like to just insert the knife and get behind those scales, but luckily sick kingfish do not have very big crazy scales. Always cut up towards that head because you want to get all that head meat as possible. Make that cut. And this is basically considered a smoker kingfish. This is what this is the name they get when they reach this size. And I caught this fish uh, bottom fishing actually on my snapper rig. Pretty wild on a circle hook. No wire needed for this bad boy. And now we're just going to outline his backbone, following it all the way down. But to handle big fish like this, I'm going to show you the easiest method of filleting them because they get awkward at this size. All right, then use the flex of the blade, follow those bones right down. Luckily, kingfish don't have too crazy scales, so they're very easy to fillet here. The skin is ultra thin as well, and the meat is not the firmest meat in the world. It kind of falls apart as well, so just make sure you have the, ice, the fish iced down nice and eat, nice and uh, well, so that way he's nice and firm when you go to fillet him. Go around that big backbone and then angling the knife back down, getting all the meat as much as possible. Look at that meat. Bled this fish too, so I just try to get as much meat, much blood out of him as possible. And in my opinion, that helps take, make the fish taste much better. But let's get this big old slab off here. And then I'm going to go ahead and call Puddin, aka Brian, over here to explain to y'all a little bit more about how Skillshare works. What's up, guys? Boom. <laughs> Don't. Actually, yeah, that's a great job, though. So, as usual. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Skillshare. It's actually starting to rain a little bit right here. Um, and that's because I actually used Skillshare and some of their, their learning videos before I even they even contacted us recently to do, do a video for them. Um, and the reason is because you guys know I'm a lawyer, and I learned how to learn new skills about videography, editing, all kinds of stuff, okay? So what, what is Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of aspiring videos for curious and creative folks, okay? So whether you want to learn a new skill, like in following your dream, uh, or for your side hustle, or you want to build on your current interests, you know, whatever they may are, or, uh, well, it looks delicious, this sizzle. Looks amazing. Just stick <laughs> them up, and then we're gonna finish off the other side. But we got all the nice steaks here. I'm just put them in a plastic bag because the bugs are so bad lately. I'm getting distracted Lies. by the fish. Or, you know, you can go down the rabbit hole of creativity because they have videos from animation to web design, marketing in the middle, all kinds of stuff, okay? If you want to follow your dream, it's very simple. You got to learn some stuff. So we always talk about that here, okay? So just like fishing, you got to always be learning something. In your current job, you got to be learning something. Or again, if you want to do a side hustle or put up, uh, you know, pictures on Instagram or your next fishing pictures, whatever you want to do. Okay, one of the videos uh, I actually l learned a lot from recently was, I got want to get the name right, Portrait Photography, Shoot and Edit, Instagram Worthy Shots by Jessica, Jessica Cabisi. Okay, now we all post on Instagram, we all post on Facebook. It was very helpful. Yeah, and we all want those pictures to look a little bit nicer, right? And so, you know, I, every, you know we know how to post pictures on there, but you always, you're going to learn something from everybody. Uh, on this video, you know, I learned a little bit about editing videos a little bit, a lot about organizing <laughs> the pictures, because I have thousands of pictures okay and i also learned a little bit about composition and you know and just was reminded of stuff and, and jessica seemed like a what is was a really great teacher okay whether you're fighting boredom during this covid times right whether you just want to uh dive into some self-care through creativity uh or or learn a new skill and follow your dream you are <laughs> just gonna watch it now it's getting close to that I'm knife. To cut him. <laughs> or again you can just join a great uh creative community with like-minded folks so uh skillshare is the place for you to continue your learning and don't forget about the link. Click the link down in the description and you are gonna get a free trial of their premium membership, okay? 
And after that, again, it's only like 10 bucks a month, which is like renting a video. Exactly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slab off the other side of this fish, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to take skin off on a very large fish, because I think this is the most helpful tip of this whole entire video. Okay, so you saw you guys saw the first time how I just flipped it over on its side. So this is another easy way to do it. I just basically skinned him all the way down to his backbone right here. And then another way, instead of now I got half a fish here, so it's even more awkward to deal with. So this is the best way to do it with any species of large fish. You just want to break it off like this. Break it off, cut it, and then break it off into manageable sections that you can actually work with. So this section here, I just cut it where it was basically the same thickness all the way through. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. Take another piece, already had that half off. Angle that knife back down. Okay, and then you get another giant kingfish steak. There's one. Do the same thing again, all the way down the fish, okay? This is just an easier way to handle big fish. And I feel like it's much quicker too. I don't have to turn the fish on its side and just take this giant, big old 15 pound slab of meat off. Okay, so that's how you would do it, working your way down. It's starting to rain here, Pat, pretty bad. So let me just show you real quick how this works here. What I like to do, so for kingfish, you leave the skin on if you're gonna smoke them and also cook them as well. But of course you can take the skin off too, no big deal. So in order to do that with any big fish, just like you have it here, take your knife, cut it right down between the, the uh, bloodline and where the innards are and the blood and guts and pin bones, and then take your knife, angle it down and then just follow that skin like that all the way across, okay? And then you got a nice piece of skin of kingfish steaks. I just did this with a very large amberjack the other day, a wahoo the other day. So this works with all types of species and it just makes it much more manageable because again, you don't wanna be slicing down this long piece of kingfish, especially if the fish has very thin skin, okay? So there's a beautiful kingfish chunks right there. Gonna be delicious. Kingfish is best fresh and uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this fish, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you learned a thing or two, and uh, we gotta go because it's, it's pouring. pouring rain right now. <laughs> Hopefully our camera does not die right now. Okay, well thank you guys so much for watching, and until our next How To Filet video, follow, follow your, your dream, dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. There's water all over the lens. <laughs> ah!